Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross watching in today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what you can expect from the next 24 to 48, let's say to 72 hours, okay? So, what um, messages do the cards have for you? Um, what can you expect to unfold over the next few days? It is going to be a general reading, but if you are after a personal one, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Let's go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and let's take a look and see what you can expect um, from the next couple of days. Okay, you have some interesting messages here, guys. Um, first and foremost, I feel like, especially with the presence of the King of Cups here, um, I feel like this is you. Um, this is you doing better. Okay, um, this is you doing better emotionally. This is you getting more of a firmer grip, more of a firmer rein on your emotions. So for those who have been going through something emotionally turbulent, okay, um, whether it's been um, a tower moment, whether it's been an inner storm, an outer storm of some sort, I feel like then you can expect for the next um, couple of days for the energies and the moods, the emotions to shift, okay, to shift into a more positive direction. I'm also seeing that you're finally understanding some sort of situation. Um, something that I feel like maybe was far too complex for you to understand or something that was really difficult and very challenging for you. I feel like you're finally understanding why something had to happen, why something had to fall apart. Um, I was just taking a look at the tower, um, the like a closer look at the tower card the other day. And I think that for some of you, yes, there is something here, you know, you could find yourself like in the midst of a storm, okay? You could find yourself about to enter a storm, and this might happen within the next 24 to 48 to 72 hours. Now, not all storms are the same, and not all storms are destructive, okay? They don't just come to challenge us. Some storms come and arise to clear our paths. So um, for some of you, you could be entering a storm. You could be in the middle of a storm as I do this reading. You could be coming out of a storm, okay? But just remember that this too shall pass. And just I was saying about the tower card um you know the crown it's a circular crown okay um that is blown off the tower here um and it does not fit the square tower so there is something here that is falling apart for you or has fallen apart for you and the situation doesn't fit okay and um, the situation was never going to work out Okay, and I know it sounds very blunt, but I think this is what you're coming to understand. Now, it doesn't mean that something is never going to happen for you, or it doesn't mean that you don't get another chance at something. You do, because you do have the Ace of Pentacles here, which of course is a sign of new beginnings, right? It's a sign of prosperity, growth, manifestation, and abundance. But I feel like for you guys, something here had to fall apart. And with the tower moment, this is a strong indicator of uh, an opportunity for you to renovate something, okay? Something that wasn't quite right in the first place. So um, to give you an example, it could be a relationship that failed and didn't work out. It could be, you know, something to do with your career because the tower is pointing upwards into, you know, pentacle energy. It could have something to do with a situation that you really wanted and you really desired. But, you know, just because you want something, it does it's not always best for you. You know, what people want isn't, you know, ironically enough, isn't always in their best interest. So something that you wanted here or somebody that you've wanted, um, you know, it's it hasn't worked out. And I feel like you're finally coming to this realization that it was never meant to be. At least it's never meant to be right now. But the tower moment does give you a chance, okay? Because this is a tower of illusions that are being shattered and destroyed. And it gives you a chance to maybe look at things and do things a little bit differently, you know, next time around. Or, um, you know, renovate um, whatever the situation is. So it gives you an opportunity, like a second chance at something, um, to lay more of a firmer foundational structure, Um 
I also see that over the next few days you are planting um, seeds that I feel like are going to grow really abundant. So for some of you, you could be working on a project, okay? Um, this could be, I mean, this could be anything small, okay? Um, but it starts with a little seed. It starts with this little germ of an idea and it's going to grow into something really abundant, okay? Or maybe this is something that you have been working on. You've been really, you know, working on something, on a project, maybe on starting a business, maybe on growing a channel, something that I feel like you've been putting a lot of energy. The Ace of Pentacles here is an energy of, you know, something is thriving for you, something I feel is and you're going to see results of this show up over the next uh, like 24 to 48 to 72 hours. Someone from the outside in might look at you and go, oh, wow, you know, it might feel like success overnight. But we all know there's no such thing as success overnight, right? So you know the hard work that you've put into this and it's finally paying off handsomely. It could be financially. It could be materially um, that it pays off. It could be in other ways, okay? New beginnings, new opportunities, new connections, um, a new love, a new chapter, a new romance. Something, it feels like the doors are opening here. The doors to... Um, you know, wider opportunities are, and new beginnings are opening for you. Um, and it, yeah, it also feels like there's a lot of growth in your energies, a lot of growth, a lot of abundance, a lot of manifestation. It's a really good energy for you to be in. Now, I do like that you've got the Knight of Cups. Well, you've got the Knight of Cups and you've got the Knight of Swords that have shown up and they could not be more opposite from each other. The Knight of Cups is a, um, you know, he's a... Um, He's a romantic, okay? He is all about romance, about love, about chivalry, about romantic seduction. You do have, um, I feel like you do have this energy that is making a beeline for you, especially with the Knight of Swords energy, okay? You've got someone around you who is very attracted to you and you are attracting this person. Your energy is pulling on there. So do expect some sort of message, okay? Some sort of romantic message. Um, a text message, a phone call, or some communication rather from someone who embodies the qualities of the Knight of Cups. So someone whom you're certainly attracted to, you're very drawn to this person, this person is drawn to you. It is a moth to a flame type of energy. Someone who I feel like really wants to reach out and connect with you. This person might ask to take you out on a date. Um, they may, um, you know, really sort of like sweep in and try to like sweep you off your feet, try to impress you, try to um, romance you, wine and dine you. This is someone who has this romantic aura, romantic energy about them. And this is someone who, it's not a friend, okay? Because they, you know, they're not looking for friends. They, you know, they want romance and um, they want it with you. So expect a text message, a phone call. It could be from someone that you've known from the past. It very well could be. But this is, I just see this person being very charismatic, very sweet, very charming, very attractive, very adventurous. I mean, what more could you want? And this is someone who I said is making a beeline for you. Yes, to those of you that are thinking, you know, do I know this person? Could be. Could be someone that you've had this tower moment with, okay? Could be someone that you've been in this discord, this disconnection with, and all of a sudden they change their tune, okay? They're coming in, the energies have shifted, and this person wants to, um, you know, Maybe they want to work things out with you. Maybe they want to impress you. Maybe they want to do things right by you. But I just feel like this is someone who definitely wants um, either, you know, they want a second chance with you or this is someone who wants to make a romantic move or this grand romantic gesture for you. So expect a phone call. Um, it, could, it could even be, because it's a long place alongside the Ace of Pentacles, you could even be gifted something from this person. Okay, so they may um, show up with a bunch of flowers. They may give you a gift. They may see something at the shops that, you know, something little that might remind them of you. Okay, um, or remind them of the connection that you share. So expect a phone call, a message. Definitely, you know, this, this is whatever this is. This energy uses romance. This energy uses seduction, sweet seduction. Um, and this is someone who I feel like is very excited here um, excited to get to know you very enthusiastic about taking you out seeing you next planning a date with you especially with the page of wands energy okay and this person i feel like is about to take you on a world wheel on a whirlwind adventure um it might not last very long for some of you it may not necessarily last very long but whatever um however 
long this person stays in your life it's definitely going to be fun exciting thrilling it's definitely going to be something um, that you will look back fondly okay it could be you know what you and this person will have going on could just be a casual arrangement could just be something casual but i mean and maybe that's something that you want right now maybe you don't want a long-term relationship right um but this is again a lot of romance a lot of sweet seduction just a lot of romantic seduction that kind of energy okay a lot of whining and dining and impressing you and you know putting their best foot forward here I mean, we did uh, touch on the tower card. I do feel like there may be a tower moment for you that, as I've mentioned, either some of you are going to enter or you're going through or you're going to come out of it, okay? But just remember, okay, it's not like this tower moment is happening to you because this tower card has this personal vendetta and it's out to get you. No, it's coming to clear your path, okay? I don't see this as coming to disrupt your path. I see this as you needing to let go of, of a situation that, Look, maybe it fit once, okay? Maybe this uh, crown that was, you know, propped on top of the um, this circular crown, propped on top of this square tower, maybe it fit once, and maybe the situation worked once, you know, once upon a time it was all good, but it no longer fits, it no longer makes sense, it no longer feels right, and this is something that I feel like you're coming slowly, but surely coming to terms and realisation. Um, and it's it's been challenging, and it's been very, um, it'll be very liberating, Okay, um, for some of you, I mean, watch out, there could be some sort of altercation, a disagreement or altercation with the connecting energy, but I see you, okay, because you're coming up as a knight of swords, I see you being defensive, I see you potentially starting this, I see you weaponizing your words, I see you, I'm not saying, you know, that you're a meanie, but I feel like this is you, maybe you're hurt by something someone said and you're still holding on to that, like, bitter brooding kind of energy and then you're out to pick a fight so be careful with the knight of swords it is this kind of you know um, don't put yourself in a position where you know something could really escalate or it could become you know drama filled okay um, don't surround yourself with people that you know are all about that okay because they might you know they might sort of lure you in into their trap um, okay, guys, and there you have it. So I think I rather event for the next 24 to 48 to 72 hours. Um, a bit of ups, a bit of downs, perhaps even a bit of an emotional roller coaster. So hold on, strap in for that ride. And these are your messages, guys. Thanks so much for watching and listening. If you haven't already, please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, or subscribing. Um, also, don't forget to hit that notification bell because that will tell you when I um, when I will be sharing my messages with you guys next. Bye for now.